What's up, guys? It's me, Boxing, and today I'm going to be predicting the outcome of Gabriel Rosado versus Danny Jacobs, which will be a 12 rounder in the middleweight division. And this fight will be Friday, November 27th, from the Seminole Hard Rock Casino and Hotel in Hollywood, Florida. It will be broadcasted on The Zone in the United States and Sky Sports Abroad. The Gimbo Fighters, Daniel Jacobs, born in Brooklyn, has a record of 36 wins, 3 defeats, 30 wins coming away of knockout. He's ranked number 2 in the world by BoxRec in the Super Middleweight Division. He's a former two-time Middleweight World Champion. Um, he started um, his Middleweight title reign um, against Dimitri Pirog, even though he did lose that fight by KO in the 5th round, an upset KO, I forgot to mention. He was a heavy favorite in that fight, facing Pirog, who was unknown. But he did bounce back in a couple wins, but then challenging for the vacant WBA Middleweight World title against Jared Fletcher, winning by TKO, then defending that title against Caleb Trax, Sergio Moore twice, and Peter Quillen, he got a first-round KO win in his hometown of Brooklyn, New York. But then he took on Gennady Golovkin. He did get dropped early on for all the belts, well, almost all of them. But then he, as I said before, got dropped early on. But he did come back to put up a great fight, one of the toughest fights Triple G has seen um, in that era, back when Triple G was knocking out everyone. And he was the man who ended Triple G's, I believe it was a 23-fight KO streak. I believe so. Correct me if I'm wrong. But um, that fight was very, very close. I was edging Jacobs actually winning that fight. That was a very, very close fight. Razor thin on the scorecards. But then after that loss um, to Triple G, he bounced back getting a unanimous decision win over Luis Edias. Um, Maciek Sulecki. Then he took on Sergei Dervinchenko for the vacant IBF middleweight world title. I did think he lost that fight even though he dropped Dervinchenko in the first round. I thought Dervinchenko won that fight in a very close fight. It could have gone either way, but I gave it to Dervinchenko. But then right after the Dervinchenko fight, winning the IBF middleweight title, he lost it to Canelo Alvarez in a middleweight world title unification. But then um, he fought in the super middleweight division in January of 2020 against Julio Cesar Chavez Jr., winning via fifth-round uh, corner stoppage after Chavez quit. In his corner, after having a good fifth, or uh, excuse me, fourth round against uh, Danny Jacobs, but um, in that fight, we really didn't get to see too much besides Danny Jacobs taking on a guy who was way heavier than him, um, in Travis Jr. who weighed in way over the super middleweight limit at one seventy two, so it ended up being a catchweight fight. But uh, moving on to his opponent, Gabriel Rosado, born and raised in. Philadelphia, Pennsylvania has a record of 25 wins, 12 defeats, 1 draw with 14 wins coming away of knockout. Um, I'm just going to list some of his losses to the top guys. I'm not going to list all of them. He has losses to Alfredo Angulo, Triple G, Peter Quillen, Jermel Charlo, David Lemieux, uh, Willie Monroe Jr., Martin Murray, Maciek Zuletsky, and a war. Both fighters dropping each other. He also has a some wins uh, against Humberto Ochoa in his most recent victory. He has a split decision draw to Luis Adias, a six-round KO win over Glenn Tapia, and it went over Joshua Claudi in around 2015. But um, in this fight, I really think it's going to be another where Gabriel Rosado steps up and he does not deliver. Because in every single fight that Rosado has stepped up in, like the Triple G fights, the Lemieux fights, the Monroe fights, the Murray fights, I could list them all. He just hasn't delivered. He would either get stopped late in the fight. He's a very durable guy, I forgot to mention. But I just think Danny Jacobs is way too much. It's like fighting Triple G. I mean, it's fighting one of the top five guys in the middleweight or super middleweight division. It's just way too much. And um, Gabriel Rosado was ranked 31 by BoxRec in the middleweight division, while Jacobs is ranked number two in the super middleweight division. I mean, there's just a huge difference there. He's a guy who could beat a guy in the top 20, maybe top 30 around there. He's a, yeah, as I said before, Rosado is a top 30 fighter. And he's known beating guys who are in the top 20 to top 30. He's not known for beating any guys in the top 15. Except for that war versus Macha X. Zuletsky. He did drop him multiple times in the final 9 and 10 round in that fight. But he did get dropped, um, I believe, three times or two times in that fight as well. But he he's, is very durable. He's very hard to get out of there out of his 12 losses. Only four of them are by knockout. But I am predicting that Danny Jacobs gets a stoppage win over Rosado. Possibly in the 7th or 8th round because Triple G knocked him out in the 8th round. Lemieux, I believe, knocked him out in, late in the fight and through rounds 10 and 12. And same with um, many other guys. Like Peter Quillen, I believe, knocked him out late. But Angulo knocked him out early in the 2nd round. And as I said before, Triple G stopped him midway through the fight. 
So my final prediction is probably that Daniel Jacobs gets another super middleweight victory over Gabriel Rosado, improving to 37, th 30, 37 and 3 with 31 knockouts, getting a mid um, fight stoppage win over Gabriel Rosado. And uh, yeah, that's really it. I'm Me Boxing. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later.